Hello again everyone, this is Honeywell and I'm playing Banished. This is episode 10 of The Perfect Town. When we last left off, we were building aggressively and being completely annoyed by all of the the merchants. So we're going to see what we can do to get some of this automated. And this is actually just what we needed. We already had a food merchant come through at this dock, so we have those products from that merchant already sorted, so we just need to do this one. And we can have one dock auto-purchase food, which will be nice. Okay. And there is a food merchant there, so that is good. Not that I want to buy more food, but good so we can get these set up so I don't have to keep doing this. Okay, we ordered. You can leave. And we'll order the max amount of We'll auto purchase the max amount of vegetables, fruits, meats, and grains. And I want the priority to be on fruits, so I'm going to raise that up. And they can purchase when the merchant arrives. Okay, that's one dock automated. A gazillion more to go. And we'll buy some coal and logs over here. The food is the easy part to to set up. The, the logs and tools and all that other stuff, that is going to take a little while. And we're going to go ahead and use firewood. just because we have so much of it right now. Okay. Oh, I don't even have any inventory in here. Well, that's okay. Let's see, every visit, and we want the... the crops in the orchard foods. Everything else will either produce enough on our own, or they cost too much. Okay. And you can leave. And let's get this stopped. 2,000 beef. A small amount of eggs, because they're putting them in our barns that we use for our fishermen. 4,000 mutton, 2,000 mush or 200 mushrooms, again just a small amount to keep them from overwhelming the barns. Um, 500 wool coats, let's see what that looks like, mushrooms, eggs, beef, mutton, wool coats, and venison. Okay, that looks good. And more traders. We're going to have three at these docks.
Sorry, nomads. No, thank you. Want three at these docks and six at six at these. So what is that? Is that right? Let's look at our traders. Oh, it looks like we need one more. Six. Six. Three, three, three. Looks good. And we are not going to be stocking venison over here any longer. So we'll take these out, which is why I think we only need three vendors over here. I think that's plenty to uh, get ale and firewood. Okay, that looks good. We still need, we can still be extremely aggressive on our housing. So we'll get some more houses queued up here. like six. Okay, and we unpause those tunnels. And I guess they're just throwing uh, beef on the ground there. Stone roads and Gonna want some wells. Good. The well down this end. Some more stockpiles and barns. Now the stockpiles are for two reasons. One, we do need them, or we will need them. And the other reason is for them to act as a sort of, sort of a fire break. It's only a matter of time before this area catches on fire. So we just want to minimize the amount that's going to be destroyed. And we might as well get some more tyrants up while we're at it. Let's see what else. A bridge over here.
and I'll explain that in a bit. And let's see. It looks like they're already harvesting. There was a, a full crop that year. Oh, I'm surprised. Every time I look over here, I see frost on the ground and crops withering. So it's nice to know that occasionally they're getting full harvests out of those. Um, we want some fishing docks over here. couple houses to go with that and again we're just going to go with the stone roads And more stone. Another fishing dock. Another three houses. Oh, what did I do over here? Shoot. Oh, at least it wasn't built yet. Well. The road was, but. Is what it is. some apples and beans. These aren't right. That's better. We'll unpause that while we're at it. See how these barns are. Still full. Still full. Hopefully we'll start taking care of all of this wool and mutton and everything else that is creating a problem over here. It looks like we're already at a stone, or near enough. We'll queue up some more. I 
and keep going. Let's see. And you can see the stockpiles. are complete, almost completely full back here, which is why we put the 10 by 10 ones back here. The barns are doing okay, though. The hunting cabin. Uh, 375 in logs. That's more than I was expecting. And less than I was expecting in the gatherer's hut, even with two gatherers. Although they seem to be off to a better start this season. And they did over a thousand with the firewood. Our warm coat tailor. Let's get some more houses up back here. See if we can get our population to match our production, which is through the roof, really, for the number of people that we have. Although we're... We are climbing, that's for sure, though. I'm sure we'll probably be at least 300 by the end of this episode. And our hunting cabin. And all of these areas are still being established. Uh, that's good. Almost 2,000 with two gatherers. 270, a little low, 800, I usually around 1,000 is what I expect, so those, those are performing a little less. We'll have to see how that works out. It could just be the less than ideal placement of all of this, so it might not ever get up to what I would usually expect. And almost 1,000. And 357, so that's good. It was really a, a bad season for this hunting cabin, although this this one they seem to be making up for it. And did we already look at this? We did. And the leather is still all over the place. Get a well over there. Do we have a well on this side? I don't think that we do. A well over here. We have one there. Okay. Let's see if those traders are still there. some apples. Thank you. Steel tools are good. Uh, we'll purchase some coal. Oh, stone. Stone we need. Some apples. What is that, 8,000? Dismiss them. And this one is set up for auto purchase, which is nice. And what else were we doing? in a couple more houses. I 
and I'm gonna unpause this marketplace. We have almost 80,000 in food. Which is excessive for the amount of population we have. increase the speed. Nothing's going to get finished if we don't. And I wonder which would be bit better. This Or like this. Yeah, we'll put it like this. Um, steel tools and logs. I think 20 builders is still fine. I'm still not sure what I'm going to be doing with these this section of barns over here. It doesn't quite line up and I might end up uh, taking this one out to, to kind of redo them. So I'm in no hurry for those. They can wait. can behind here. Yes, I know the stone is low. And what, you're at your limit? Oh, raise the tool limit to 1500. See if we can't collect some more stone while we're waiting for more to arrive. And get some iron as well. Oh, and it looks like our grave mishap might be at an end there. get this in and I can pretend it never happened. 20 by 20. Okay, good. I know the stone is low.
And I'm not quite ready for... I think next... Next episode we'll probably start buying the crop seeds that we don't have. And it looks like this trading post is up and running. Buy some apples and some beans. And we're going to stock 2,000 beef, the same as in all the other ones. 200 eggs, 200 mushrooms, 4,000 mutton. 500 wool coats, and some venison. Which is actually a pretty insane amount of trade goods. This is probably close to 30,000 30,000 units of trade goods there. But that's okay, and this is auto-purchased. Good. And no seeds yet, thank you. And six more tavern workers. And why not some more houses? Can I do that right? Yes. And we'll re-put in this pasture that we messed up last episode. Okay, looks good. still being worked on. And we're still waiting for a vendor. I believe it must be the general goods before we start automatically purchasing with this stock. And as soon as we get some more stone, we'll unpause this trading post here. Um, basically, what is nice about this section of water is it is the only portion, only section of water on the map where if you put a trading post, a trader isn't going to be able to visit the post. And while that might seem like a waste for some people, uh, for me, I actually like that because I don't want to deal with a trader or any of their goods. I just want um, a trading post to store some goods. One, because we have a lot of things to to an excess and for two just as a backup when 
you rely so heavily on trading. You can end up a sit in a situation just like we are right now where I'm waiting for for stone to come. Now what if there was a tornado or a really bad fire and I needed to rebuild something in the town? I would want to have a a kind of backup supply of some stone and iron and that sort of thing. So we're gonna set up a few a few trading posts around this lake and put some reserve uh, food and materials in them. And it looks like we're pretty much just playing a waiting game right now. Looks like some of these dogs got up. Okay. And I think we'll buy all of this and then call it an episode. So would that be 500? Okay, looks good. Uh, not very exciting, but we're almost at the 300 mark in our population, which isn't bad. We filled out a lot of the map. When we come back next episode, we'll continue to try and get um, more of this trading automated, so I'm not doing it so often. And we're just going to dismiss you, just so I don't have to deal with it. And depending on how that goes, we also might start to build some farms over here. And I also have this section of the map earmarked for some orchards. So in the next few episodes, we'll go into um, some farming in a, in a big way. We have a lot of houses that we can put up so we can get these started, get these communities started pretty much as fast as we can build them. Okay, that is episode 10. We'll see you for episode 11. Thanks again for watching.